Now here's the former Panther. Had some great years with him. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Purdy off the play fake. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. D.J. Wadham got off his spot quickly and got to the quarterback. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Purdy from the gun. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. And the screen unsuccessfully dropped it. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. Second and ten. Come on, come on, set. Cougar 19. Ready. Purdy looking to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. I think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That gain on third down, good for 28. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On first down, this is McCaffrey. They'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Second and seven. Let's go. And throwing here, Purdy. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It'll be a gain of five. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And the pressure gets to McCaffrey as they stop him short of the line to gain. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Out of the gun, Purdy completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he's unable to get away. They stop him at the line on fourth and two. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Ready. They'll play fake. Now Young. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here. A safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's pile this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 40. McCaffrey on the counter. Now inside the 25. Christian McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey, 60 yards. 
yards. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Moody good with the extra point. And that makes this a nine-point game. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. It's Young off play action. Let's it fly for Thielen. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Here's second and 10. Young off the play fake. Flushed out right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And he is caught. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Now Young. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 27. This ball taken in here by Brooks. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Second down and four. To the air once more, Young. That's pulled in by Brooks. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Here we go. They'll run here, the former Longhorn with it. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, it's 9-0. Panther football to start quarter number two. As they come up now, second and goal. Let's go. Now Young. Touchdown! From three yards out. And the Panthers have got it back to within a score. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead is down to two. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. McCaffrey running up the middle. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When people talk about plays being blown up, that's exactly what they're talking about. That's exhibit A for physical play. Got a man. That's Ayu. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now Purdy. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will push the lead up to 12-7. So there in that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Here we go. Young now from the 50. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. There's Tremble, the tight end. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone, first down. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and ten. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hubbard. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the ten at the 11 or the 12. Calling a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Ready, ready. Young to throw it. He finds his man complete. That's Brooks. Touchdown, Panthers. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Panthers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead is now two. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 13 yards there and a niner first. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. 
Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Purdy now to throw. Connects with Kittle underneath. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Purdy. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. These two offenses have gone up and down the field so far in the first half. Finally, finally, I say, here's a stop on third down. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the timeout comes in with two seconds remaining. So they can trot out the field goal unit for the try before we hit the lockers. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this one is right through. And that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. Oh, it's some hitting going on now. This has been a tight game, and he takes a big shot there on the return. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Brooks, and he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Young to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Brooks. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Here we go. Here we go. Out of the gun. It's Young. He finds his man complete. It's Brooks. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Let's go. From the 22 now, here's second down at seven. Young. He finds his man complete. It's Brooks. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. Young will set to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, Bryce and that Panthers offense, they're going to stay out there and go for two. Now Young's going to throw for this. And that is caught for the two points. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes can prove risky there. It worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Here we go, here we go. 
They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Roll, roll, roll. <laughs> again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. Yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. 117 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Flush to his right. This one caught by Kittle. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Again, McCaffrey, but he will lose yardage here as they knock him back to the three. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Steps away to his left. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Brock Purdy, a three-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And he was brought down by Malik Collins. Another try, second and ten now. Now here's Young. He finds his man complete. It's Brooks. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Well, the faithful in full roar here in Santa Clara. This is third down. Ready. Ready. To throw Young. Connecting with Johnson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Running the jet sweep. This is Thielen with it. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. 
Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Second down, eight yards to go. Young to throw. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Well, this crowd doing their best to make a lot of racket. It's third and five. Young. Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. And the Niners are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. But we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. Escaping the pressure right. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And part of the tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Here's Purdy to throw. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. to get the timeout. A huge play has him in field goal range with a chance to win. So it all comes down to the right foot of Jake Moody. Oh, he left this one out to the right. That's a bad miss. No good. And that changes everything here in OT. So it's the 49ers who will get the football first with a chance to win it here in overtime. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, Let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? Up the gut, McCaffrey. And McCaffrey going to pick up a Niners first down as they get this up past the 40. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, OK, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 137 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's got some space here. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. 
Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Purdy from the gun. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Yeah. Head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Defensively now, the ultimate challenge. Of course, the ball gets in the end zone. This thing's over. And I remember my coach has always talked about in goal line situations, and now you're in overtime where they have to keep them to three points. Otherwise, this win is done. Win your individual battle within the framework of the team defense. Beat that guy across from you and make a play. I expect him to attack on defense and not sit back. He'll try again. And I don't think he got in. He did not. They mark him short of the goal line. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They'll look to throw on third and goal. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, they had to feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Purdy will throw for it. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So... Frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Okay, so from inside right. Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Here's Young. Here's Johnson with a reception. Touchdown, Panthers. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Ready, well, Bryce and that Panthers offense, they're going to stay out there and go for two. Now Young. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. 
And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. So he hooked up with a veteran there, and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Here's second and four from the 24. Purdy to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head one, two, and then he ran out of time. So it all comes down to the right foot of Jake Moody. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And Union Street will be hopping tonight. The 49ers have won it. Well, Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf. And today, that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.